This video is brought to you by Pregra Artificial Turf. Hi, my name is Bo Hodges with Pregra Synthetic Grass. Get ready, buckle up, throw away your lawnmower, and welcome to the future. Now let's talk about measuring. As you are measuring, you must keep in mind the width of the Prigger product that you are installing. Each segment must be measured by the width and the height of the area that you are measuring. Synthetic grass comes in rolls like carpet. Understanding this concept will keep you from measuring too small. For example, measure from left to right 15 feet by the highest point. In this case, 14 feet. Also understand the highest point might not be directly across from each other. Measure the next section the same way. On this diagram it would be 15 by 18 and the last section would be 15 by 19. Add the sections together to determine your overall square footage, which in this case is 765 square feet. Be careful to not measure too tight. You will come up short. Always measure for a little bit more than you need. It is very helpful to measure the job a couple different ways to determine the least amount of waste possible. One of the most important facts to remember is that the grain of your pre synthetic grass must be flowing in the same direction as the piece that you are seaming it to. If this is not the case, having a flawless seam is almost impossible. Don't ever break this rule. Trust me. To level the area. After the area is level, you need to water and soak the chat. The chat will not compact correctly without water. Also, you want the water to soak all the way through the chat not just on the surface. Depending upon the product, all the grass must flow the same direction. I would encourage you to install your grass with the green side up. We found that the installs are much more realistic that way. Some you'll get that in a few minutes. In order to have a flawless seam, it is very important that you trim the flange right up as close to the stitch as possible. This will create a straight edge to work with. As you are preparing to nail your seam, lay out the whole section so that it's totally flat by adjusting the section from both sides. This is much easier to accomplish with two people. Bring the two sections together and begin to nail directly across from each other and then up the seam every five inches. Pull the blades back so that when you begin to nail, you don't pin down the blades. Now once again, the most important thing to remember in creating a quality seam is laying the two sections with the grain facing the same way. When cutting right up to a hard surface, you must be careful to not cut a gap in the grass. Peel back the grass and trim away slowly so that when you lay the grass into place, it will lay down flush. Remember to cut slowly. When you make a mistake cutting, there's not much that you can do about it, so be careful. Securing your grass to the subsurface is obviously very important. Anchor all the way around the project about 8 inches apart with 40D nails. Place your nails about an inch away from the edge. If you nail too close, the edge will curl. Too far away and the edge will be easy to pull out. Start anchoring in a corner and anchor all the way around, working out any ripples as you go. Okay, so we've spread our chat, we've rolled out our grass, we've nailed and secured our grass. Now let's talk about brushing in our infill. In order for the infill to go in successfully, the blades have to be brushed up. So we're going to take the power broom and begin to brush the blades against the grain. This is going to make it much easier for the infill to fall down in between the blades. Many of you are probably asking, what is the purpose of infill? Infill is very important. It helps the blades stand up. It adds weight to the grass. It also keeps the grass cool. You want to brush in at least one pound per square foot of infill. If you spread the infill unevenly, the grass will feel lumpy. So make sure that your spreader is very consistent. After the infill has been spread, take your power broom and use it to work the infill into the grass. Alright, we're almost
almost done. Simply go around and clean up any excess material. Then take your water hose and clean your grass. I always get the same comment when I tell people about this part. You mean I have to water my grass? Well yes, at least one more time. Maintaining your grass is very easy. Treat it like it's real. You can use a leaf blower for leaves or a rake. If for some reason your grass gets a little dusty, simply clean it with water. Another question we get all the time is what if my dog decides to, you know what? Not a problem. Pick up the solids and hose off the grass. Thanks for purchasing our product. We really hope you enjoy it. If you have any more questions, go ahead and check out the information at the very end of this video. For Prigra Synthetic Grass, I'm Bo Hodges. Thanks for watching. Interested in a high quality video similar to this for your company? If so, please contact us.